Hey guys, this is Chris. Um, I just wanted to show you what we're going to make today. So this is actually a continuation of the class that I taught on uh, going in circles with uh, Larissa on uh, Creative You. And so we're going to put this together, this fun project, and it's made out of circles. So it's just a another way of making circles and trying to get uh, to feel like your life is feeling a little better okay so um, I have uh, everything put together for you and it's ready to go so have fun enjoy this project and if you have any questions let me know um, also uh, don't forget you can always email me uh, I would love to see pictures of your projects your finished pieces so um, come on over come join me have fun today I'm going to do just a little bit differently on the circles so what I did before was this one here this project here I thought this was just really really beautiful I want to do it just slightly different just because it's it can be really fun right just to try up different things so I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and I'm using watercolor paper and I'm going to tear the paper the tape in half this is like a one and a half inch paper and I'm just going to tear wherever it tears it's pretty sticky so we are going to make a mess um, sticky and doesn't like to let go of my fingers <laughs> so uh, let's see what we can do here I'm going to tape this all down I'm using watercolor paper this time I think the last time I ended up using like um, uh, art board or something like that mixed media board and and it was nice but it tears it tears pretty easily with the tape Hopefully this one won't tear. Oh, I'm out of tape. So I have a different one, <laughs> my backup. And uh, let's use this now. This is gonna be a little different because I'm gonna cut it in half and it's, I won't be able to tape the edges down. Um, I'm gonna have to use another strip of tape to do that. So anyways, I keep doing this off camera. So I'm just ripping this in little bits here like I did on the other one. And it really likes to stick to me. There, I'm just gonna let go here. Maybe that's the way to do it. it can be a little awkward. Come on, be nice to me. There we go. Okay, jeez. So then, we're gonna tape our edges. This is gonna line up right on the edge of the paper. And then if you want to put another strip of tape on the edge here, oops, just so this stays nice and flat, because sometimes with watercolor paper, it bubbles up on you a little bit. It does a little buckling. And this just kind of helps keep it a little more stable. All right. So I picked out the five colors, and I think I might add a little bit more on this one. So, first thing I did was I did some writing which I think I might do a different type um, of writing. I'm going to, oh my gosh, why does this always happen when I'm recording? Uh, I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> Where is my pencil? I had used some pencils yesterday and I don't see it. Urgh. I things grow legs <laughs> so I have another Stabilo so with Stabilo it's like I don't know if you've ever used a Stabilo pencil before but it, you can pretty much write on anything and on this 
when we put water on it, it will blend together. So let's do, I'm just going to put a little bit of pencil in the middle and leave the sides blank. And then I'm just going to rub it a little bit here. I have a paintbrush here. I'm just going to dampen this up and you're going to see it spread out. It's pretty cool. I love the Stabilo pencils. I use them a lot actually. Okay, so the next thing I want to do, I'm going to leave this wet. I want it to be a wet on wet project. So we're going to start slip slapping some color in here. And this time I'm going to use a different yellow also. And let's see what we can do. I'm going to put on Last time I put some Payne's Gray. Let's do some raw umber and just do a little fun stuff on here. Okay. Now I'm going to pick up some I have some of this really beautiful shift color and I'm going to use this and this is um, purple flash and it also turns like a really really pretty blue color so it shifts from purple to blue and it's just amazing absolutely amazing you're not going to see the blue right away. It is a shift color so that means it's going to change colors. It, in the different lighting you'll see a different color. It's still buckling up on me a little bit. This is a different brand of paper than what I used before. But it's actually not too bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and put some white on here. This is uh, titanium, or not titanium, this is uh, Titan Buff. And I'm going to make swirls. Last time I did like a little slip slapping, but I think I'm just going to do swirls this time around. It's kind of a neat effect. And because this was done before with um, making circles, because we have all our craziness in our lives right now, and so I thought this would be kind of fun to do a little bit different and uh, see how it goes. You just never know what it's going to bring you. Okay, so we're going to work wet on wet. So then my next layer is uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put in some of the yellow. It's going to turn weird though because I don't know if you know but yellow and purple make brown and so it doesn't always come out pretty and we already have brown on here. But let's try it out. Let's try this out. If we don't blend too much, I think it's going to be kind of cool. And just keep making your little circles, your arches and stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. No tickle in my throat. You don't want to blend too much. Okay. So now that I got those on, I'm going to do some heat setting in between uh, or, you know, curing it with some, with my heat gun.
All right, so, uh, I want to just, I want to make this a lot different. So I have, um, the flow, flow, uh, high flow, um, teal color here. And I'm going to just kind of put some of this on. Maybe I can get some of this to come out. I love the high flows. <clears throat> there we go. It's really kind of hard to get this out because the tip is a little plugged up. Come on. That's enough. Okay. So I'm going to just come along here and just swipe this color in. And then I have my scrapers and I'm just going to make them there. I don't want to do too much with the scrapers. Now I'm going to dry this again. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I'm going to put some um, some circles on. And this time I'm going to use a big sponge. And last time I used a, a much smaller. And I think I am still going to go with this really pretty purple color. Uh, I think it's just phenomenal. And this way, you don't lose too much of this color. Okay, so I'm just going to press it down, pick it up. Press it down. Okay. <coughs> I really like the texture I'm getting with this. Don't forget to go off your edges. I tell you that in all my stuff. Edges are important. pretty good so I'm gonna dry that up and I can see now some of the blues coming through <coughs> excuse me wow Still pretty wet but <clears throat> boy I got a frog in my throat <laughs> um so I'm going to I really like adding the white on this or the um, Titan buff because it really brings out this whole painting so um, I am NOT going to make a big circle in the center I want my painting to be just like this so I'm gonna make a bunch of different colored circles but I want to stick with the same colors now. So let's put some big rings on with the Titan Buff. Not a lot. So I've got my little cup here. I 
And I can always add more later. So we're just going to let that color sit for just a short time. Now, the next color I'm going to add is quinacridone violet. And this has a really pretty um, sheen to it, I guess you can say. It's a pretty color. It's just a really nice, bright color. I have these little caps that belong to um, paint brushes. So I'm just going to dip them and make my own circles with these. So I'm going to work my way from big to small. And I'm not going to do anything here. I just want this kind of covered in circles. I'm not going to do anything too crazy at this point. At least not yet, but I will. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to use another color. And I'm just going to keep going with these different sizes. Oh, I need to get some paper towel here. Oh, come on. I have to spin it all the way around to get to the end. All right. <laughs> I know, I'm so dramatic, aren't I? Okay, that one's done. Now let's grab another color, which I will add some teal. Maybe. Oh, this color is just... I need to unplug it is what I need to do. It's come... Okay, that's enough. <laughs> so I have maybe three other sizes in here. Okay, let's go back in with my tight and buff. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm twisting as I'm putting this on, kind of blending the colors a little bit. And again, there's no rhyme and reason to this. I'm just doing this because it's fun. Okay. Now, I'm thinking I might do a little drippies. But I don't want to do too much. So, uh, or maybe I do. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm just going to lightly spray this. Let's see what color it picks up. So it's picking up that teal. I kind of like that. It's kind of adding this kind of muted look and feel to this. The uh, purple is not, it's not bleeding at all. So I'm going to put a little more, see if I can get some of that to come off. want it to be too blendy so it's already starting to get a little bit more muddly than I wanted so I'm just gonna come here and just blop my paper towel on here I don't like how the um, purple doesn't doesn't react it's pretty thick paint so maybe that's why 
Okay, that's not terrible. It's kind of cool looking, right? <laughs> hey, save this for your... Let it dry and it can be a piece of paper for your um, mixed media. Alright, I still have a few little damp spots in here. So I have an idea that I think will be kind of fun and it's going to be different, far different than what I did before in the way of the end results. I had done this piece, which I thought was really an amazing piece. I know it's an, it is an amazing piece. And um, I put the colors here in the middle and then, actually I put them all over and then I scraped them off and it just was fantastic. So um, this is paper, so it's a little different. So it may react different to this because I'm gonna put this on really heavy. So are you ready for this? Because it's going to be pretty, pretty amazing. So we got our textures. We got our back out, background. And <laughs> we're going to be using a lot of water with this. Okay. This is such a fun technique. It's great on canvas. So it might be totally different on paper. But I am excited for this because I know this can be phenomenal. All right, so let's get some colors on here. We're going to put this one on. And you're thinking, God, you're covering it all up. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Let's put a little bit of this. And a little bit of that. Okay, make it wet. Make sure it's really wet. This is a very, very wet project. And then uh, I'm going to use a flat scraper for this. So we're going to let it run down this way. Okay, we're going to let it run down this way. Lots of water. Water, water, water. Don't worry, we'll get that teal in there in a second. Scrape it. Scrape it off your painting. Get as much of that out. You could even wipe this off probably with a paper towel. It's pretty wet over here. Get that off. So the goal is all your stuff in the middle here is really, really wet and it's going to be pretty drippy here in a second. Where did I put my teal? There she is. Okay. Oh gosh. Come on. It just doesn't want to come out. Okay. Now, uh, get some of this off because I really like these ends. And you can keep doing this back and forth until you really like what you got. And I lost my white, but that's okay. Okay, let's do this again. We're going to just wipe this off here. I guess it's better wiping it off than it is with um, using a scraper since it is paper. Then let's get some of this back in there because we do want some of this color. We need to break it up.
You really have to play with this to get this white to move. Yeah, it got kind of blendy. It's not terrible, but I think that the um, that purple needs to be really dark, and it's not coming out as dark as I was hoping. There's one more trick up my sleeve. <clears throat> I have a super cool airbrush. And sometimes you've got to force this paint to do what you want it to do. Because it is not moving. And this could be too because it is paper. Actually, I like that a little better. really need to be broke up probably thinking, oh my god, Chris is ruining this. Not yet. It's not totally wasted. Okay. I have my ideas still. I'm not done. Getting some of that water out of there is way too much water. But you gotta do that. You gotta have a lot of water with this technique. If you don't have an airbrush, you can use a straw and blow on it. You've got to get that white paint does not want to move. So, uh, because it's a thicker paint, it's a heavier uh, viscosity. It's not terrible. It's still pretty wet in there. So I kind of like the muted circles on the outside. And what we'll do is maybe put some more circles here in the middle and kind of draw them in. And uh, I still think I want to use the white, the tit titanium white or titan buff. I keep calling it white. Um, such a mess. Okay. Okay, so let's add some circles. And this time I'm going to just layer them in the center. Like, I just want them to be right in this here.
and then we can put smaller ones in to have them just kind of go outwards. I don't want too many to be outwards. Just a few. Maybe put a few in the middle too, just to tie them all in together. And again, don't forget your edges. I always forget my edges. But you really don't want to forget those. That's pretty cool. All right. So let's let that dry. And we'll see what happens next. not completely dry but it's dry enough I am going to put some splatters on here now and uh, I think I'm going to put some of the teal and maybe just the white <sighs> maybe I won't get any teal <sighs> it just really is plugged up There, now I got some teal. Okay, so I need a brush to splatter paint with. So I got a pretty, pretty good worn out brush here. You're not gonna see it too much, but it is pretty. And then I need to rinse this off so I can put some white on there next. You know, I might actually put some of that purple in there because when you wet it down, when you dilute the, the um, that really pretty purple, it turns a little on the blue side. So you might actually be able to see some of that. <laughs> no, we don't want big blocks. Not like that. That just kind of like fell right off the brush. Well, that's a little bit better, I suppose. Okay, now the purple, the beautiful purple. It's a cool color. You won't see it in this painting or in the video because it's a it's a, a metallic kind of a metallic color and. It, the colors don't show up as well on video. That's kind of fun. Just get some of the drips out of there. Okay. What do you guys think? Okay. All right, so that's probably good enough. There's a few little wet spots on there still. But um, I wanna take this off now. So, and, and what I learned is it's better when it's a little soft. So, if you take it off too late, if it's on, uh, if it cools too much, the, um, the paper tears.
Okay, this is it. This is the final piece. And this is a close-up. Look how beautiful. You can't imagine how much more beautiful it is in person because you don't see all of the details as well. You don't see, you, you can't feel it. And to me, it just feels lovely. It just has a really, really nice texture. And you don't see the reflection as well, but it's really a stunning piece. I hope you enjoyed the class. Please share your photos with me of your paintings. I would love to see them. I would love to post them. Um, I have a Facebook account. You just email me and I'll put you in there. So, um, yeah, there you go. Have fun. Thank you again for taking one of my classes.